。十五号，美国独立调查记者本诺顿接受了央视记者专访，就美国政府允许自己的运动员作弊，却无端指责其他国家运动员作弊的行径。诺顿表示，美国反兴奋剂机构没有权利在国际体育赛事中允许运动员作弊。美国无权为其他国家和国际体育赛事制定规则。Argument given by the U.S. anti-doping agency is that they need to allow some of the U.S. athletes to use these prohibited drugs in order to serve as informants to essentially spy. On other athletes accused of doing the same, the USADA, the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, is not a police force. This is an agency that is supposed to make sure that its athletes do not violate rules on the use of prohibited drugs. The USADA does not have the authority in international sporting events to say, "Well, our athletes are allowed to cheat." Because we want to spy on other athletes, we think may be cheating. That's not how these rules work. The U.S. does not make the rules for other countries and for international sporting events. Nolan 认为，美国将国际体育赛事政治化，目的是为自己眼中的竞争对手制造麻烦。The、United States has often politicized international sporting events. This is not new. The U.S. and China, in fact. They tied for number one in the number of gold medals in the 2024 Olympics. So the U.S. has a vested interest in trying to cause problems for its main competitor. Now, in the past two Olympics, the U.S. has accused the Chinese teams of supposedly using prohibited substances. In fact, in the 2020 Olympics, the World Anti-Doping Agency did an investigation into these U.S. allegations. And they came to the conclusion that they were not true. This, of course, is deeply ironic, given that we now know that the U.S. has allowed its own athletes since at least 2011 to use prohibited substances in violation of anti-doping rules.